Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the other Bender card to review today, which is probably the one that people are going to want the most, to be honest, because of how the meta of this game works. But we're taking a look at the new end of an era Lars Bender card. So we're taking a look at someone who is also six foot one, medium high work rates, right footed, three star skills with a three star weak foot. But if you take a look at this bad boy stats in game, he looks unbelievable right so we're taking a look at someone that has 95 pace with 90 sprint speed with the anchor chemistry style we're going to be boosting that up to a 99 for acceleration with 95 sprint speed this card looks so ridiculous shooting for his card 74 attacking positioning with 80 shot power 77 for long shot so this is going to be a card that you mostly want to use in the right back position on stay back while attacking or in one of these center back areas because obviously that's the meta of this game as a stay back while attacking player as well. With this card, you could actually potentially give him seven chemistry in your team with a shadow chemistry style for the small little boost for the acceleration and sprint speed while also boosting his defense. And I still feel like this card would be absolutely beast in this game, right? Shooting. Uh, decent for a center back and right back. Passing on the card, very, very good as well. 85, 83, 78 for curves, 83 for crossing, 84 for vision is very, very nice. Uh, dribbling on the card for base card stats is amazing considering he's a medium high player, six foot one height, with I believe also a high and average plus body type because I mean his other brother has that. So let's see if that's actually going to be the case for this card as well. And it is going to be also a high and average plus body type. So definitely going to be very nice to have in the defensive areas for sure. Uh, in regards to with other stats, dribbling is just... just amazing for a card like this just disgusting uh defense very good for base card stats as well so that when we give him the anchor chemistry style the boost that you actually give this card is also very nice so take a look at the card stats with the anchor chemistry style on full 10 chemistry it's just it's a ridiculous card like look at this defense look at the dribbling to work with his body type and stuff physicality is there especially with the boost that you give the card too but not only that guys right if you play a card like this on seven chemistry even if it's a plus three plus three with small defensive upgrades here and there and then you give him that extra physical boost or you even give him a shadow right for more pace in the card it's just an absolute monster like look at this thing even on seven with dude German links, Bayern Leverkusen links, there are so much things you can work with for those links nowadays. So many things. So many things, okay? So, base card stats for defending, very good. And then base card stats for physical, also very good with the boost that you'd be giving him too. So, the way that we are going to be using this card is going to be in two different uh, variations. He will be playing in a 3-5-2 to test him out defensively, obviously. And then we are also going to be trying him out in the 4-1-2-1-2 where he will be playing as the right back in the team on balanced instructions because you want to test him out attacking and defensive wise because he is a medium high work rate of player very similar situation to nelson Semedo. i expect him to be a defensive monster for the most part so yeah we're going to get into some games we're going to be testing out both the bender cards let's see how he plays oh my goodness look at this thing Double tackle there as well, man. Nice. Let's see what his dribbling is like on the ball with Lars. Aw, oh, dude. His dribbling is awesome for a center back with those dribbling stats. Oh, my goodness. Nice, Lars. Has the pace to be able to get that there. Good little switch. Nice defensive play. Nice, Lars. Well done. Good defending there. Okay, so for the second half, we're going to switch to the 4 1 2 and 2. Let's see what the vibes are, man. Oh, I thought I was actually going to be able to score that there. Um, I'll tell you guys something about Lars Bender right now. Like, this is definitely the type of card that you keep on stay back while attacking. Or you use him as one of your center backs. Like, it's just one of those types of flexes. And like I said, guys, this card on 7 chemistry for that center back area is definitely going to be sick. Oh, I try to get that cross in there. Get those passing staffs off. 
when I do defender reviews, I'm pretty sure people like are so confused as to like the person they're playing against. <laughs> Oh, I actually almost got that. Bailey went for a, uh, a header there from the Lars Cross. The Lars Crosses are not that great, guys. Like, honestly, it's like they made this car to use as a center back, like 100%. Nice tackle there with Lars Bender. His stamina is really low because we're obviously committing him a lot in that right back position. But um, he does well there. Let's go, Lars. Well done. Good tackle there, man. Little last-ditch tackle, too. Saved us the game right there. Okay, guys. So for this next game, since I see Lars being used more as an actual defender, it doesn't really matter which defensive place you use him. I'm going to switch him with Sven right now so we can kind of test the both of them out. Uh, but both of these cards are pretty cool so far, man. Definitely very cool. Let's see Lars is dribbling, man. Look at this. Like, look at this for a person playing in the defensive position. That's insane. Dude, I'm telling you, this Lars Bender card, his acceleration and sprint speed in that defensive area is going to be so sick to use, man. It works really nicely with his high and average plus body type. I love having the weak foot for defenders. Look, just doing stuff like that, dude, is so freaking cool, man. Especially when you got good passing stats. Guys, I'm only conceding goals right now, honestly, because I'm overcommitting players to really, like, test them out, to stress test them. But both of these cards are definitely doing the work right now, dude. Well done, Lars. Positions himself perfectly to intercept that ball. That was Lars doing himself. I didn't even commit that card at all, and he just did that. Nicely done, Lars. We'll get that interception off right there. Don't get me wrong, the card is not necessarily the lightest of runners, but that's fine because he's a high and average plus freaking player, right? So. Look at that. Even though that guy was offside, Lars Bender with a crazy interception there. Tackle gets up immediately. You have to actually like trigger that animation, so you just do a slide tackle and then you spam the actual slide tackle button so that he kind of gets up quickly. See? Having that pace, man, I'm telling you. Huge, dude. Under pressure dribbling. Boom. And we keep going. Nice old dink of a pass there to Boateng. It's really interesting to use both of these cards together, to be honest. All right, guys, so final verdict on this Lars Bender card. I mean, what else is there to say? This card is an absolute monster. Absolute monster to use on the pitch, right? So we're talking about a player that is six foot one height, right? Medium high work rates. Medium high work rates with a high and average plus body type. Has the dribbling stats, right? So he can transition left and right like an absolute monster with his body type, okay? Pace. Whether you are on 7 chemistry or 10 chemistry for a card like this, right? Because on 7 chemistry, if you were to give him an anchor or you would give him an, uh, a shadow or an anchor on this card, right? Take a look at the boost that you still give him. It's amazing on 7 chemistry, right? Shadow gives him a nice little pace boost while giving him the extra defending while already having a good physical, right? But then if you want to give him an anchor even on 7, he still has 98 acceleration with 93 sprint speed, giving him the defensive boost while also giving him the physical boost to work with his high and average plus body type and 6 foot 1 height. But not only that, but if you use a card like this on 10 chemistry linking him to his brother... It's such an easy chemistry link up right there. And if you're using the moments Boateng in your team and you're using like a 4-5-1 or even like a 4-3-3 base chemistry, he only needs that one direct link, right? It makes sense why this card is so expensive because honestly, he performs really well in game because obviously in this game, it's a weird thing to always say, but having the meta of having fullbacks that have the good work rates, having the good height, a body type, and then all of these stats all together... It's just an amazing card to use in this game, right? It's an SBC that's worth getting, especially if you're making a Bundesliga team. You have some Bayern Leverkusen links to work with. Um, 
<laughs> he's going to be a defensive monster in my opinion. So uh, yeah, definitely worth the get if you guys end up going with a nice little Bundesliga team. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys for the other one. Peace out my dudes. Love you guys.